guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today i just wanted to do a random collective haul i have clothing from abercrombie i have h&m i have things from the stony clever target line which i got so many things but some things were kind of a fail and i have a few things that i actually got from so stay tuned for that everything that i can link i will link down below including my top it's actually from h&m it's like 14 bucks anyway i'm so excited to get into it follow me on instagram if you haven't already i've been updating that way more frequently and subscribe if you haven't already anyway let's get into it okay so abercrombie has quickly become my favorite place to shop at except for the fact that it's kind of expensive so it really adds up anyway i got this super fun very teeny tiny crop top and i was kind of skeptical if this was gonna fit my boobs but it did um i think this for the beach once again that i'm not going to would be fun but i just love this like pinky light light color i got two tops in different colors they're the same top that's what i meant to say um this one i am returning just because i feel like this light nude washes me out a little but i love the cut of this top so i am keeping the white one and i got almost everything in a size small and this material is like seamless and super stretchy it's very very flattering one thing that my husband despises that i wear so often are these like super puffy sleeves and i feel like this one is like a little too exaggerated so it really really looks a little ridiculous on me but this dress i'm returning i just don't love it like i feel like the sleeves make me look like a linebacker and i don't love it but it'd be so cute if you're looking for like wedding engagement inspo i feel like these like puffy baby doll style dresses are super in right now i really like this top i also really like the color um basically it like crisscrosses right here in the front and then it's like a higher neck i feel like these styles of tops are super in right now with like the high neck um so i'm into it and it's once again that seamless material so it's super comfy i got two skirts one i like one i don't this one is called the 90s micro mini and i know that might sound like super scary but i'm 411 so it fits pretty good it's just cute i love the crisscross detailing i've been super into it i'm wearing the amazon crisscross leggings right now so i wanted like a black skirt to dress up like for going out and stuff but also to dress down with sneakers and a cute little crop top i think this would be fun i love the idea of this skirt which is why i got it it is a linen skirt and i love how the hem kind of dips in the front i think that part of it is super fun and flattering however um as i mentioned did i mention this um as you all know i'm a mom i had a baby eight months ago i feel like this particular cut makes me look pregnant i don't know i can't explain it um, it just really accentuates everything i don't want to accentuate in my belly area and it's just not very cute for me maybe if i would have sized up what size did i get i got a small but i feel like then the waist would be too loose um it's just not not for me so returning this i have this dress in a floral print and i love it i was literally wearing it like right now it's easter i thought it would be perfect for today it is very flowy very comfortable i don't even have to wear a bra with it so i wanted to get more colors that being said i do feel like this baby doll style dress with or because of my boobs makes me look a little bit frumpy slash pregnant cannot stress enough how not pregnant i am but I don't know i love it is it the most flattering on me no but i love it so i got this little checkered print one that makes me feel like i'm a picnic basket or something i don't know it is very cute though and it has like the puffy sleeves but not too puffy it has like a super stretchy top which is really nice and then it also has pockets so i think i'm gonna keep the floral obviously i'm gonna return this one and i'm gonna keep the white one just because i'm a white gal i guess not white white dress gal i love wearing a white dress which is so hard <laughs> because when it came time to go to a bachelorette party as a non-bride it was very hard for me to pick out outfits so i don't know why i felt the need to tell you that but i just love wearing white so yeah, i'm gonna keep this one i feel like this in the summer with a tan and chloe slides would be perfect it's just so flowy it's double line it's just stunning um i got a size small and i feel like it runs pretty true to size i wonder if they have the petite oh yeah i got small petite 
Okay, from H&M, I got a few swimsuits, but honestly, I feel like they're a little like, yep. So <laughs> I need to size up. This is a size six, so I need an eight for sure. I hate how they do it with like that two, four, six sizing instead of like a cup size because I feel like that would be more helpful, but super inexpensive and I love, love, love this like crinkled material. I also really like this one obviously because of the color, but also I feel like you totally get away with wearing this as a bodysuit. This is just a one piece and it has like a fun little cutout. Like I said, obsessed with this cutout and obsessed with the color. I got this one, I think, in a size small though. This one didn't come in that number sizing as small. Then I got this denim jacket. I wouldn't really call this a jacket because it's very, very lightweight. But I love the like cut. I love the distressing. It has this dressing like everywhere. And it doesn't have that like straight across super stiff hem. So it makes it like so flattering. I feel like I'm really missing like a perfect denim jacket and I have like 10, but none of them ever go with like dresses or things that I wanted to go with. So I'm glad I got that. Then I got two basics. These are just little tanks. These were so affordable. They're ribbed and I love the cutout. I keep saying that in today's video. I don't know why, but I do love it. <laughs> and then I got this one in nude. I um, have this one in a different cut and I really like it. I wear it all the time. So I thought it would be fun to have the crop top versions. And then to go with that swimsuit top, I got the matching, well, kind of matching their different materials. This is what they look like, the bottoms. Um, these are just like plain, boring swimsuit bottoms, but they actually fit pretty well. These are a size small, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, six. And then the same top I'm wearing today, but in the nude and white version. Think this is so cute i love anything i think they're called pointe yay i don't know how to say that i think that's french but this type of fabric slash material my grandma actually used to make coasters out of this style of sewing or knitting um i don't know why i just reminded myself of my grandma but yeah very cute i got this one and i obviously got this one they run pretty big though i got a size small and tbh i mean this fits pretty good because i'm wearing a bra but i would size down okay i'm gonna do a what's in my bag where i talk more in depth about maggie's catalog because i've been getting a lot of questions but y'all let's discuss the most perfect bag i've ever found in my entire life like i'm truly obsessed it doesn't even begin to cover it i want to wear it every single day of my life it's just so pretty like doing your thing that looks absolutely stunning i love the brown with like the more like ivory yellowy color it's so nice and thick i need to keep this bag um i have a ton of crapping there it just fits everything it has like actually a lot of pockets and things it has a zipper on this side i am truly obsessed with everything about it here's the thing though so one of you actually told me about maggie's catalog and i've been getting a lot of questions on my instagram like what is it basically it's like a little bit sketchy you go into her catalog you send her a screenshot of what you want so if you want you can send her a screenshot of this <laughs> and then she tells you like a link where you can add the amount that that bag or that thing or those bags are worth and then that's how you check out so it's a little sketchy and this was my first time doing it and i was like dang like am i gonna lose all this money but it worked out she shipped it with fedex it got here like fairly quickly i think two weeks and i'm so impressed and the thing that one of you told me um before i ordered it is that her catalog for some reason has more like very accurate bags compared to the originals if you get my drift than just her dh gate stuff so so far i got five things i really do think they're so much better the problem with this is i can't really direct you to it you kind of have to find it on your own i wish i could do a whole video on it and explain it to y'all but as i explained in my last video there's like a situation with the hk videos on youtube so i just wanted to share um because it's everything of the sort like it's just so so stunning i think the video is a little overexposed but y'all it's literally stunning then here's another find from maggie's catalog this one is the ball chain one 
Look how stunning. I already have so many pink bags that I definitely didn't need another one. I actually ended up getting this in pink, but I ordered it in blue. So it is so good though. I came with the bag and the box and everything. So next time I order, I don't know if I'm ordering anytime soon. I'll do a little unboxing. That way y'all can see how everything came packaged compared to like regular DHgate stuff. Some of the things that I ordered were regular quality, like it said it on the listing thing, but others were like top quality, which means they're like, they resemble the original the most. So this one is beautiful. The chain feels nice and heavy. And this detailing is so pretty. You can actually like click on it and adjust the chain, which is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this. I just don't need another pink bag. Okay, did anyone else feel kind of betrayed by Target <laughs> with the Sunny Clever collection because I was so excited. However, I did not set an alarm. I didn't think I was just it was worth it for me to wake up that or, or like at, at two in the morning to shop it. So whatever. I had a nightmare that Ted Bundy like broke into our house that night and I woke up at like three in the morning instead. So I was like, oh let me check out what's available. A lot of things were, so I was like, huh, this is like a little too easy. And then a ton of things got canceled for my order. But anyway, this is what I got. I got this really pretty plaid um like clear pouch. It's adorable. I think I'm gonna put one of these maybe this one stickers on it i think it's very very cute and it was only 15 bucks tbh this price point seems amazing to me but paying 200 dollars for something like that that's customized is really insane like i cannot believe it um that those are worth that much just like the og line insane Anyway, I got a few patches. I got this one that says Glam. And there's two different kinds I noticed. One that is like fluffy, like almost like Sherpa, and one that is like actual embroidered. So this one is embroidered, which a lot of people think these are chewy, but I don't care. Um, it just says stuff, and these are like the fluffy Sherpa that I was telling y'all. I also got this from the Stony Clover Target line and I was so excited because y'all know how I feel about pink and I thought this was like the Barbie suitcase of my dreams. However, the quality of this feels like it will break down mid-trip. Like I don't trust this, not even to go to Austin, Texas. Like I feel like it's such a cheap plastic that like you know how rough they are at airports when you check a bag um i feel like this just simply won't hold up and it was like 150 dollars so definitely very disappointing especially because i was so excited for this color and the size is perfect but unfortunately like i have to return it i don't think it's worth the money like i said i really do feel like mid-trip like not even gonna make it one way it will break down so sad and then the last one that i got from that is just the travel one i thought this one was super cute so those are just sticker patches that you can like put on any of these or in anything um and then i had a vision of putting <laughs> okay so i got the dog carrier let me show you i've been really wanting a dog carrier not so much for like travel but for taking the dogs to the vet as you all know like they're all under 10 pounds so i thought this would be convenient to have yes i have two boy dogs i don't care they like pink too um a lot of people like get mad at me for making them wear pink i'm just like they're dogs they don't care anyway so this is their dog carrier and it's so freaking cute are you kidding me with like the gingham or whatever you however you say that um and it's a perfect size for them so i had a vision of putting penny's name on it but the y was sold out <laughs> so i just have a p and e somewhere and then two n's so i have to return these i'm not going to use them so instead i'm going to put pups so instead of like just penny's name because they are all going to use it i'm going to put pups like puppies but pups um on it and i thought it was so cute i might put it like right here or something but is that adorable and this wasn't even that expensive how much was this okay it was expensive it was 50 dollars <laughs> okay regrets but so cute and it actually feels really good quality i like how it has these at the bottom and you know if i ever get the 
courage to travel with my dogs then i have one cute carrier for them so guys that's everything for today's video i really hope you guys liked it it was just kind of like a random haul of things that i've been buying lately that i probably shouldn't be but that's everything for today's video like i said i should have more videos coming up i feel like i was kind of slacking this month and last um just because life got really crazy got really busy but i want to get back on my grind i want to get back to posting you know three times a week so hopefully we can do that from now on thank you guys so much for watching and for sticking around with me i'll talk to you guys very soon in my next one